Hello, you wonderful people. So for today's video, I want to talk about the news that came out recently that the next season, season 11 of The Walking Dead, will be the final season, which I find interesting in many different regards, because we already knew ahead of time that the show was coming back for an 11th season, but obviously before now, it was just going to be like, oh, this is just going to be the next season. This is only news now that this is going to be the final season, which I think is kind of interesting. Uh, I mean, I'm curious what made them make that decision. I read into it a tiny bit, but I, haven't, I didn't really do a like, deep dive into it, but I thought that was so... Um, interesting in the grand scheme of things because I don't know because obviously the comic book is done and as someone who's never read the comic book I don't know where the current storyline you know dealing with the whisperers and everything I don't know like where in the comic book's grand total story like where that takes place whether that's halfway through the the entire like run of The Walking Dead is it maybe three-fourths of the way through it in the grand scheme of things I don't know um, but it's so it's, it just so seems so sudden on, in many different regards. But I'm always that situation of like, even if it's going into like, hey, this is gonna be the final season. I'm always fine with a show ending when it's just being like, you you know that this is your final season. You're being told it's your final season, not where's the things of like, hey, uh, retro the show has gotten canceled, making this previous season retroactively your final season. You just didn't know it. You know that whole situation. So. Um, it presents a lot of interesting things with the show ending here, especially with it being the Whispers. I guess the Whispers are going to be potentially the final main antagonist of the series. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know because obviously we all, there's a lot of things to consider. One, the season 10 finale hasn't even aired yet. Uh, it doesn't actually air until October 4th. If you're, if you're out of the loop or unaware because of like productions being shut down and everything, the season finale got pushed back. So it's been, you know, but it's, we're finally going to be able to see it on October 4th. So... Obviously, even going into this 11th and final season, we kind of have no idea because obviously the season 10 finale is going to be the crux of giving us setup for the 11th season. So I think that's going to be interesting. But like I said, we're, where things are currently from having where things were left off with the penultimate episode of season 10, uh, it kind of makes you think that the... Uh, uh, whispers will continue to be the main antagonist. Maybe, maybe not. I don't see that being dealt with 100% in one episode. But maybe it is. Because um, I already know, and this is kind of a spoiler, but I think it's just stuff is already kind of said. Uh, you know, obviously Maggie's returning, which we know Maggie's been with that other community that got introduced in C early season nine, I want to say, or in season nine that like they were communicating with. Uh, I think the lady, what's her name? Uh, was it Georgia? I think is her name. Um, that they were communicating with. Like, obviously, we know Maggie's been with them the entire time, so we might get more of that community brought into the fold of the story and stuff like that. I don't know. Because other things have to be considered, too. I've never seen any of the Fear of the Walking Dead. I've seen bits and pieces, but not a lot. I do know, like, obviously, I know Morgan is on Fear of the Walking Dead. Also, home dude who used to be a savior, the dude that's got the burn face. I know he's, well, it's burn face from, like, the iron because of, um, Negan, but obviously it's like other than like uh, that's I, I could see bits and pieces here and there, but I I, I, I want to take time at some point in time to watch the Fear of the Walking Dead. Just like I said, I just haven't uh, started the series at any point in time. But uh, so obviously because I've seen stuff here and there, just because of previews and stuff like that, I already know a lot of spoilers about it. But it's like it, it is what it is type of thing. But um, still, it's kind of an interesting thing to know that the show is going to be ending. I mean, granted. The Walking Dead, the show, is ending, but that universe isn't. Because, that, I mean, for now, that means the continuation of Fear of the Walking Dead. We know there's the other show, uh, The Walking Dead, uh, was it World Beyond or something like that? That's going to be a new show, because I think that's actually premiering next month as well. That was supposed to premiere back in April, but obviously it got pushed back uh, because of everything going on. I want to say... I was reading that it's only going to be two seasons, so that's a limited series on its own. But I also know there's going to be, like, the Walking Dead movies about that's going to have Rick in it. So we're going to circle back to those storylines, which I'm curious, like, how everything ends up connecting potentially in this final season. Like I said, we're going into this not really having the full context of everything to kind of expect. Um, where, I mean, we don't even know who might live or die in the season finale, of you know, because that can change a lot about where the story, you know, is heading. But what was interesting, though, is from when I was reading, instead of being the typical 16 episodes, it's actually going to be a 24-episode season, which blew me away because I'm like, most final seasons are usually half the length of normal season. This is the only show I've ever really seen that's had more episodes in its final season. Like, not even, like, because if they had just given it 16 episodes, I'm like, oh, man, that's cool. Like, actually, I have to take that back because, like, you know, um... 
the 100 kind of is in that same boat too because like its final season is like longer than most of its other seasons there's other 16 episode seasons but this is like the first one they've done in a while but regardless tangents and all that it's just i'm really curious to see you know ultimately where you know they end up taking things because you're also not really 100 percent sure like even if you take the comic book for what it is you know once again i've never read it but i do know some key differences because i know like hey certain characters are alive in the comic books that are dead in the comic books one particular person i know for sure is carl um but also like, you know, so, but there's also that situation of even if a character's dead in the TV show that was alive in the comic books, they could always adopt someone's storyline from the uh, comic book and just give it to some other character to play out that role or that storyline in the TV show. They, you know, I think that happens from, from time to time in different shows and stuff like that. So, I mean, things that I've thought about as well is that even though the show is ending, these characters can always pop up in other things. I mean, depending on how everything plays out, you know, in the sense of like, obviously, like I brought up earlier, obviously Morgan's on Fear of the Walking Dead. So you could always see these other, this is a connected universe. So like, even if there ends up being another show or movie down the road, these characters from this particular show could pop up in different storylines all across the board. It just depends on whether they want to continue to use these characters or not in you know, whatever shape or form. But along those same lines, you also think about, and this is something I've always thought about too, how would The Walking Dead end? I know how the comic book ends. Eh, I got some spoilers here and there. I don't know in the grand scheme of things, like the context of a lot of stuff, but I know some stuff here and there. But, um, and you know, The Walking Dead, the nature of the show always seemed like a bit of a depressing show. So I always felt like, oh, when the show ends, it's gonna have a depressing ending. That, that's the question. Is it gonna be a depressing ending? It could be, or you see like every character you love and care about, you've come to know over the years. I mean, the ones that, I mean, even the newer ones that have come into your, our lives over the course of these years, and even the few that are still around, like Carol and Daryl, who've been here since the literal beginning, as well as Maggie as well, like seeing them where they end up, you know? um you know how things work out for them so it's like it's still that thing of like things should still take a hard like a uh, depressing turn or maybe it'll end a little bit more hopeful i mean that all depends on how they want to play this out something i'm also curious about in this season coming up is are we going to get more like time jumps because like we've been getting a lot more time jumps like especially like season nine like season nine we really got a lot of like time jumps like years in fact uh we're skipping so I'm, I'm curious, are we going to get more of that, or is it just going to be, like, pretty much picking up where Season 10 ends? I'm, I'm, I'm curious in the grand scheme of things. I mean, Season 11 doesn't have to start off with the um, time skip. It could just do like Season 9 did and take a little while before we get to, like, a hefty time skip. You know, I'm, I'm kind of seeing the grand scheme of things. Like I said, once again, we're going into this without the context of the Season 10 finale, so it's really hard to judge where everything goes, unless you're more familiar with the comic books, and you're like, okay, so they could go here, here, and here. Because it is ending, though, it does make you wonder, like, are they going to pick and choose certain storylines? Or like, okay, so maybe there's this giant arc that they might just skip over, and it's like, oh, well, the comic book is done, so we'll kind of adapt some of that ending of the comic book. Or maybe they're saving some of those storylines for other shows, movies, whatever the case down the line. I mean, like I said, it just there's a lot of things that it can do with it, but uh I just thought this whole situation was very fascinating. Obviously, these are just my thoughts about everything. I'd love to know your thoughts in the comments down below. I know some people have kind of, you know, fallen in and out of The Walking Dead over the years, but you know, I'm, I'm still curious, like you know, um, are you happy? You know, hey, the show's ending. I mean, hell, a season, a 11 season run ain't nothing to sneeze at, you know? Um, that's pretty damn impressive. Um, you know, and once again, this is the show ending, but obviously this universe is still going to exist. With, like I said, the other TV shows and the movies. So, you know, there's always other stories to tell in this universe. Like I said, whether they contain the characters we've come to know in this show or not, is a whole other thing in itself. So, like I said, just let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. But really, that's what I'm going to talk about. Till the next time we meet, be happy, be safe, love life to the fullest, and enjoy it. Good day and good night.